On this video, we're going to write a very, very long series into a, a sigma notation. Yung mga previous video ko, uh, inage-expand tayo ng, ng sigma notation. But this time, we will write it in sigma notation. Okay, let's have an example. You can still find this on ex exercises 2.2.1 of your learner's material. And we want to expand 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus up to 1 over 99 plus 1 over 100. Again, para malaman mo kung anong rule nito, uh, this is your first term, this is your second, third, fourth, fifth, and this is, I think, your 99th term. If you'll notice, parang uh, 3 to 2, 3, and then, of course, this is your 99th term, and this is your 100th term. Then, the problem is, we're going to write this using sigma notation. Now, we want to know the rule. Yung 1, paano magiging 1? Yung 2, paano magiging 1 half? Yung 3, paano magiging 1 third? And, um, it, uh, clearly, you can see that the rule here is, is 1 over n, or 1 over x, or 1 over i. It depends on um, the index that you will be using. So, to write this, we have the summation of our rule. Let's use n. Our rule is 1 over n as n runs from, going to start with 1, up to 100. And there you go. Let's have another one. Um, for instance, you want to write negative 1 plus 2 minus 3 plus 4 plus up to plus 24 minus 20, sorry, plus 24 minus 25. Ito mukhang medyo tricky kasi... If you'll notice, um, alternating yung signs natin. Like, start tayo ng negative and then positive siya. Yung summation natin, kung lahat ito ay positive, walang problema. The summation will just be i from i equals 1, 1 to 25. Again, you can use any letter. You can use j, k, l, m, n. Okay? And um, But the problem here is, like starts as a negative and then suddenly naging positive and then negative ulit and then positive and then negative ulit and then and so on. Hanggang negative 25. So, um, usually I put one here para lang alam ko kung anong nangyayari at alam ko din kung anong ilalagay ko after. Kasi, ah sorry, this is 24. Nilalagyan ko ito ng mga numbers dito para alam ko kung anong nangyayari kung sinag-substitute ba ako or penaltan ba siya or mutual ba ako na hindi nakikita. But this time, this is I, this is 1 and then negative siya. Pag 2, it's positive. Pag 3, negative ulit. Pag 4, positive. Pag even number, it's positive. Pag odd number, it's negative. So, um, for this, I think uh, our rule is uh, we'll put a negative 1. If you're going to notice, we have negative 1. Fill so negative 1. And if you're going to raise this by an even number, the answer will be negative. If you're going to raise this, by an odd number, the answer will be, will be, uh, sorry, by an even number, it's positive. By an odd, odd number, it's negative. So, clearly, eto tayo. Kailangan ni ganto yung ating summation. So, I'm going to change this. Dadagdagan natin siya ng negative 1 raised to i. Kasi pag 1 tiyan, pag 1, if you substitute 1 here, negative 1 times i. Tama? So, let's check if it's 1. If it's 1, that's negative i, negative 1 raised to 1, that's negative times 1. So, it's negative 1. Correct. If it's 2, we have negative 1 raised to 2, that's positive 1 times 2. It's positive 2. Correct. Again, if it's negative 3, negative 1 raised to negative 3, it, uh, negative 1 raised to 3, so it's negative 1 times 3. So, we have negative 3. And this is your summation notation for this series.